<laughs> Hi you. Before enjoying this video, please lay a little love on that subscribe button. I'll be extremely grateful to you. Enjoy. <laughs> Don't worry everyone, I'll take good care of this one of the baby. <laughs> really dark in here they could have at least turned on a light it's not gonna happen <laughs> they're having way too much fun but they haven't even started timing yet <laughs> they're not going to we should probably time you don't happen to have your phone on you do you i think i left mine out there oh. <laughs> thank goodness for that okay so um if you wouldn't mind setting a timer for Seven minutes in heaven. I can't believe I'm playing this game. I think our parents used to play this game. <laughs> I think this game has been around since like the ice ages. <laughs> and here we are still doing it. Why are we still doing this game? I have a theory about party games like these. I think oftentimes people are just way too shy to like <laughs> talk to each other or just like ask <laughs> like a normal person like hey um do you want to hold hands or <laughs> just like any arbitrary display of intimacy or you know showcasing of liking a person really so so these games are timeless because awkward human behavior is also very timeless Like, speaking of awkward human behavior, I'm sorry I called you the baby. Well, I'm not that much older than you. Yeah, at the end of the day... Oh, never mind, I was about to go into a rant. Um, screw it, I'll just go ahead. Um, I mean, basically, I just have been thinking a lot about, you know, I just... College, it's college, it's college, it's just everything everybody's talking about. But statistics prove that the subject that we choose in college is, what is it, 90% likely to be irrelevant to what we actually wind up doing. And so like, it, what is the point? You know, and don't get me wrong, I love education, but I feel like the education system, we all know that it is so screwed. It's so scammy. And it's like, we feel like we don't have a choice, like we have to play it. It's just a lot of sacrifice for what, you know, for what? I tell you a secret. I've, I've never played these games before. And now believe me, not because I'm like exceptionally <laughs> extroverted or anything like that. No, no, no. I'm, <laughs> I think everybody's probably, maybe not everybody, you know. There are some <laughs> super extroverts out there, but I think most people are at least a little bit shy to a degree. I don't know, this game's, I just, I don't like peer pressure. I don't like people telling me what to do. I have a serious, I have serious issues with authority, which I find to be justified and I also just don't like the concept of people telling anybody to do anything. They're not entirely, you know, happy to do. And so that's why I'm running the clock with you because I know you probably stepped into this closet because you didn't want to disappoint the crowd. Which is probably honestly well, I don't support. <laughs> well, I'm not impressed <laughs> by that showcase of strength. <laughs> just messing with you. But I'm not the really, like, work on that. <laughs> but um, it's better than my reason. I have a particularly self-destructive habit and wanting to distract myself in any way I possibly can when I am in pain. I've had a really, really rough week. 
and I needed a distraction. And so this seemed like the greatest distraction that I could think of was doing exactly the thing I didn't want to do and it would be weird and different and maybe even regretful, but at least, you know, it would be like a step up, even a tiny step up from what's been weighing on me lately, you know? And it's not a productive habit, you know? I don't recommend that to anybody. Like, I know, I scare myself, I scare myself with that, with that defense mechanism, but I haven't found any healthier defense mechanisms yet, so, or coping. <laughs> coping mechanisms, but actually, I guess we can call it a defense mechanism too. So what I'm trying to tell you is I am just as nervous to be in this closet, if not more so, because at least you opted to be a part of this game because, I don't know, I guess you thought you'd get something out of it, and for me, it wasn't about the game. It wasn't about getting something out of a game that I may enjoy, it was about pulling myself out of a mindset that was unenjoyable at any cost, if you follow that. No, by, by, by no means am I saying, I, I, you know, believe me, I'm thrilled they chose you. <laughs> Kissing you is by far, <laughs> the least destructive distraction. Um, but you know, that needle could have landed on anyone. I got lucky this time. If you wanna kiss. I'm also, you know me, a little rebellious. I wouldn't mind lying to all them out there and saying we kissed, so what? I don't like lying particularly, but I think every blue moon we have a right protect ourselves if we think the jury will be unfair with our honesty. Hmm. I, gu I guess in that seven minutes, and listen, nobody's telling us <laughs> that it is. I knew it. Oh, could they be more predictable? Would you like a kiss? I promise it's... <laughs> It'd be nothing crazy. Just sweet. Yeah? Thanks for being so nice to me. It was, um... This was a far healthier distraction to be spending some time with you away from everybody else than I had expected going into this party today. And I appreciate that. I appreciate this time and I do feel better. So who knew? <laughs> I guess I made the right decision by coming out after all. But like I said, I think I am. <laughs> I can't take credit for that. I think I got really lucky up with you. Here, come here. I'm just gonna put my arms around your neck. You can take my waist if you want. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You got a great chin. Um, you mind if I sort of run my fingers over it? I'm just gonna kind of guide. It's still a little, a little dark in here, so I think uh, it couldn't. A little guidance couldn't hurt, yeah. Just easy breezy. You ready? <laughs> no, I'm just getting shy. <laughs> It's not that I thought you'd be bad at it. I just thought that would be like kind of a neutral. <laughs> like, just sort of like a, I don't know, respect kiss. But like, I I liked it. <laughs> yeah, that was a really good kiss. I was expecting it to be sweet, but I wasn't expecting like, um, like chemistry, I guess.
Um, well, tempting as it is to stay in this closet, um, I'm really curious to get to know you better, so don't get me wrong, I'm gonna ask to do that again at some point, but rather than to make you know everybody feel like this is all a game still, I mean, I'd like to pull you out of this closet um, and maybe pull you into a corner <laughs> of this party and get to know a little bit more about you, what's been weighing on you lately, what's brought you to this party, yeah? Let's go find a cozy corner.